got it. I got 91, son. I got 91. That actually looks pretty good. 3k Karambuan, 4.1k Sharks. So that on top of what we got, that's like 7.5k Sharks, 6k Karambuan. I, I like that. I like that. Oh, second try. Second try, please. Oh my god, that'd be so amazing. Come on. Oh, please. Catch one, please. Oh my goodness. Time's running out, man. Time's running out. Oh, you're kidding. Ten seconds. Yes. Oh. Oh my god, it just went down. Task complete. Should be another task here, I believe. Yep, nice. So I'm not really sure about these shades. I don't... I've never really burned the... Well, I guess that, that answered my question. You just get them. Cool. Wood on the fire. I need to make pyre logs. Mm. Turn this into <gasps> sacred oil. Yes. Logs. Check. Nope. I am pyre logs now. Perfect. Use that there. Then I think I just light it, son. Oh, how was that? This will be the Elite Mauritania Diary completed. I don't even I don't even care about the chest. Let's go. I will say this is not necessarily the most useful diary. It is amazing to get a, another herb patch, I'll say. Really the main the main point of uh interest here is that herb patch. So let's rub my lamp for herb lore. Another fifty K down. Nice. How they look. Yeah, they look good. Normally you just wait for teak and mahogany logs from Kingdom of Miscellanea to pile up, and then you have to go through the process of turning them all into planks by teleporting the house, giving them to the butler. This way, I don't have to, you know, have this separate chunk of time dedicated to turning things into planks while I'm gathering these, so I'm just going to home telly, and I walk one tile because sometimes the butler gets stuck on stuff. I hit one, space, one, space. I have full special, but I would click this for the special, and then I teleport to Apatol, and it's one click to the ladder, and then one more click to the tree. And at this point, I would, you know, use my special and click the tree. Yeah, so he's going to turn him into planks and put him in my bank. Well, as usual, it came and went. Got that level 83 woodcutting. Two more levels till 85 when I can boost and cut a redwood tree. That is one of the requirements for the Korand Elite Diary. I still got maybe seven hours of woodcutting left. Big level of nothing coming in here will be 84 woodcutting. Shazam. Very exciting 85 woodcutting. I think I made about 6,000, so let's see. Well, that's pretty close, honestly, if I were to do that. That's that's awesome. Uh, I'm I actually have some brown spice I do believe for the woodcutting boost. So hopefully I can get it in eleven spices. Nope. All right. Oh, I got it. How long does this take? How long does it take? Oh, I did it. Oh, that's a lot of XP. So my next order of business here is to do farming to at least eighty six. I might go eighty seven so I don't have the plus five boost. I'm gonna sneeze. For, I believe the Falador Diary requires 91 for one of the elite tasks. It's not that I'm not looking forward to runecrafting, because I think, I mean, it's it's like 40 hours minimum of runecrafting to 86 at Bloods, but the whole thing about it is I want to complete the Korend and Kebos Elite Diary before I do that. I'm going to go pretty single-minded on farming, doing planting all my shit and doing tithe farming in between, and when I wrap that up, I will finish, hopefully have the seeds I need to finish the Karend diary. I believe I need like a Celestris. I think I broke the game. I've gotten 60 from these two allotments here so far. So much, so much. You'll have to forgive my voice here. I'm just waking up. This is 83 farming. Oh, that's 83 farming. 84 from a magic tree. I still got about seven total magic saplings left, which is awesome. I've just been doing pretty much every farming thing I can think of. I've been doing the seaweed, I've been getting my potato cactus. I have not planted all of my bushes, but I 
was picking my poison ivy bush in the farming guild, and then a potato cactus bush, my uh, whiteberry bush. So I've been, you know, I've been farming stuff. I've been farming things. <laughs> While finishing these contracts, I've been trying to keep an eye out for a Celestris seed, because that's what I need to grow to make a battle staff. Battle, battle staff? A battle staff. I just need to get one more farming level to have access to that patch. Figure this fight's gonna be pretty easy. I'm just gonna go in here, give it a, give it a, give it a good old, a good old whipping. All right, clearing this Hespori. 12k farming XP. That's a pleasant surprise. A Lazor and five dwarf weed. Apparently, this guy got a second bucket. Nice. A Lazor. It's supposed to reduce the chance of disease for three and a half days. So cool. I'm on it. Gonna do some random Calphite Queen kills since I finished that Elite Diary. Let's see. I don't know how rare that is, but Dragon Two Hand Sword. I actually don't have one of those. Awesome. Oh, that's. KQ's rarest drop other than the jar of sand and the pet. Oh. Ooh. Twice as rare as the dragon chain body. I really just want some dang Zammy wines, man. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, yeah, it feels good. And 25 Renar weeds, man? What is this? What is that, man? That's a good thing. Got a little hunter level coming in out of the blue, out of the blue sky. Look at that, 85. Hey, 2090 total. I like that. 85 farming. Let's go into the th final level, the final tier, the final frontier. Also, I can grow that Celestris tree for this elite diary. And I can go torsal whatever I've dang well please. Oh, well, thank you very much. Oh look at the little sleeping kitty. Look at his little tummy tum. Look at his little tummy tum rumbling around. I need to do a couple quests before I can do the last task for medium. I finished all the easies and yeah. My battle staff plant finished growing, so I get to do that soon too. Yay! So I'm kind of curious how this works here. I bet it replenishes. That would be cool. Fletch these. You need a knife. Let's make some battle staves. There's the final elite task. Karend elite completed. Now, now just to finish the hard diary. <laughs> these worms look so cool. They could have made these so much higher level, but I guess it gives a little bit of an incentive for uh lower levels, you know, gives them something sweet to look at. Oh, I completed the easy task. Why, thank you. Now, did you know, I actually finished the medium task? Oh, actually, you know, I finished the hard task as well. You know, I, and I didn't mention, I finished the elite task. Thank you very much. All right, where did these teleports go? So this is the Slayer Mountain, I think. Wow, right to it. Oh, yeah, son, that's awesome. And the woodland? What am I going to do in the woodland? It's just in the middle of nowhere. I'm okay with it. Let's use these lance... L lance? Let's use these lanterns. Not lan... <laughs> Let's use these lamps. Lamps. We're using the lamps on Herblore. 50k drop. Halfway to 87. We haven't done nothing. We've done nothing! I will say, this wilderness elite task is kind of laborious. You have to kill the rock golems to get the rune, mine all this coal. I had to actually go back to the bank because I didn't realize they were going to crush me so bad. So I think I make rune scimitar. No boost required, baby. Yeah! I just got suited up like I was going to war. Like, I was going to war killing these Chaos Dwarves. I was just going to slaughter them. I got the Muddy Key on my second kill, so... Moving on. Going to kill Chaos Elemental for my last hard wilderness task. I've never fought him before, but... I I should be able to squeeze out at least one kill, yeah? Well, I guess that's why you bring the stews. So he doesn't keep taking all your gear off. This is... Interesting. Here we go. Please, yeah. 
I can teleport to the Fountain of Rune. I can select where I want to teleport with the obelisks. Since I've also completed hard, I can put an obelisk in my house somehow. I'm not really sure how that works. All dragon bones in the wilderness are noted. Oh goodness, that is amazing. Man, I can hit up some green dragons and be like, pow pow, pick up all that stuff, man. A little herb lore XP. I mean, a lot of herb lore XP. This, sh this, this stuff is so good. So good. Yes, please. Thank you very much. How's that sword looking? Oh, my first kill of this trip. I've killed maybe 60 or 70 of these. Let's take those chewed bones and run, baby. Let's run. Am I doing it? I did it. That's all for this week, guys. Hope you enjoyed that episode, man. That three elite diaries, that's incredible. I wasn't excited to get all that done, but we, we hammered it out. Next week, I'll be getting that last farming level for the Falador Elite Diary. And I may or may not be finishing Elite Diaries this coming week. I got a lot of rune crafting to do, so not sure what to expect. Just going to roll with it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll check you later.